Dan, thanks for joining us. No what, worries. What a dramatic end. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was a great end to the game. Um, I thought we were unlucky at the end to maybe we could have maybe nicked it, but we'll take a point and we move and move on and now we focus on the Tuesday. There wasn't much in it, was there? I know you've gone two goals behind, but there was chances and all opportunities going your way that just didn't seem to drop for you. Yeah, yeah, we had a few chances, you know, never hit the post. Cal had one that got cleared and, you know, I just a shot that got blocked and you know, on another day we probably score maybe two of those chances and we were unfortunate to go behind but you know it's a great comeback and you know um, well, all credit to the lads for the comeback. What is that feeling in the dressing room when you know eight minutes to go you're 2-0 down and yeah. when the final whistle goes you're 2-2? What's the oh, feeling it's, it's, like? It's, it's a great feeling you know now, now we just need to take that into Tuesday and you know try and get three points in Tuesday. Just before we talk about your goal and, yeah. and, and, and your performance, just a word on Elliot Nevitt. It just seems as though you've, you've probably been there as well. Yeah. It just seems like you just can't go in for him, but he's brought something to the team, hasn't he? Yeah, definitely. He's brought a lot, you know. He, he's, he's great to play with. Um, he works hard and, you know, his movement in the box is great and, you know, he creates chances for himself. And, and you know, he's been unfortunate so far, but we all know what quality he's, he's got and we know that he's going to score. As a fellow striker, yeah. what help can you give him as well? Do you have a little chat with him? Here yeah, yeah, we have chats, and you know, I, I, I kind of tell him like, you know, when like sometimes when I'm at the side of the box where I'll, I'll probably cross it, and he'll, he'll be there, and you know, in training he's great, and he just needs to take that into the game, and I'm sure he will. Nine for the season for you now, edging closer to, to double figures. You've probably had a target. You might not want to reveal it, but how satisfied are you with how it's going in this last couple uh, of games? I mean, my last three games, I've got three and three. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm always hungry to score as many goals as possible. And, you know, I look at the top goal scorer leaderboard and, you know, I'm still quite far away from it. So I need to find a way to score more goals and and create more chances for the team. And hopefully that, that will happen and, and then that, that can result in... Um, more wins for us. You're asked to play a lot of roles as a forward player, aren't you, as well? You know, is that something that you, you can embrace or, or would you just rather be down the middle? Um, no, I'm not, I'm, not fast. I'm not too fast where I play as long as I'm on the pitch and, you know, I can create an impact, be, be a positive impact. You know, I can do it from the left, right or in the middle, wherever the manager wants me to play, I'm happy to do that. And the penalties? You're enjoying them at the moment? As yeah, well. yeah, I'm enjoying it. <laughs> I, I think right now I'm what, three for three or yeah, four for yeah. four including the Leeds game. Um, yeah, I practice that quite a lot and, you know, it's, it's coming off, so just hopefully I can keep scoring my penalties. They're never easy, are they? Everybody thinks it's just a gimme that you go and score a penalty, but you seem to be full of confidence and exactly you know what you're going to do. No sort of change in your mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I, like I said, I practice them and I study the keeper. So whenever I'm playing a game, I, I look at where the keeper likes to go and and whether they go early or not. So, you know, with this keeper, he went a bit early, so I just was able to slot in the other corner.